Make the brown sugar cinnamon pecans. Preheat your oven to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Line a small baking sheet with parchment paper. Whisk one egg white. with one tablespoon of water until frothy. In a separate small bowl, whisk a quarter cup of brown sugar with three quarters teaspoon of cinnamon and 1 8 teaspoon of salt. Now coat the pecans. To one cup of pecans, add half of the egg white mixture. Toss to coat. Sift in all of the brown sugar mixture. Stir to combine. Spread out the pecans on your parchment lined baking sheet. Bake in your preheated oven for one hour. Be sure to give it a quick stir every 15 minutes. Once the pecans are done baking, let them cool slightly, then crush them up. I do this by adding them to a small bag, then pounding them with a meat tenderizer, but you can do this any way you like. Now prepare your apple. Core and dice one medium to large apple, any variety you desire. The total amount of apple should amount to approximately one cup. To your apple, Add one half cup of brown sugar and one and one half teaspoon of cinnamon. Toss to combine. Begin making your batter by whisking your dry ingredients. To one half cup of flour, add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and one half teaspoon of salt. Set that aside. To a large mixing bowl, add one stick of softened butter one half cup of sugar, and two teaspoons of vanilla. Beat on a medium high speed for four to five minutes until everything is combined and turns a slightly pale color. Scrape down the sides of the bowl. Add two eggs to the mixture, one at a time. Blend until smooth. Next, add one and a half cups of sourdough discard.
mix well. Last, add the flour mixture. Blend until just incorporated. Grease an eight and a half by four and a half inch loaf pan with cooking spray or softened butter. Add half of the batter to the bottom. Then top with half of the apples. If your apples released juices as it sat, try to avoid getting them into your pan. Give the mixture a quick swirl, taking care not to overmix. Repeat with the second half of the batter and the second half of the apples. Top with your crushed brown sugar pecans. The pecans you see in this video could have been crushed more. See the description for more on that note. Bake your apple cinnamon swirl bread in a 350 degree oven for 50 to 60 minutes until a toothpick inserted comes out clean. Cool in the pan for at least 20 minutes before removing. Enjoy! Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more.